Hello and welcome to tutorial 160 and what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is calculating the average volume for a bar going back a number of days and what I mean by that is for example the 12 o'clock bar and uh, say we had a length of three then we'd take the the volume for the t this um, 12 o'clock bar the previous and the one before that we'd add those up and take the average and uh, you can see on the chart here we've got um, the regular volume plotted in magenta and we've got the average uh, plotted in the white so for example this bar here the uh, 2200 hours that bar the volume there is shown in magenta and then in the white we have the volume for this bar the previous bar at 2200 and then the previous bar at 2200 uh, if length was set to three it's i think actually set to four at the moment but uh, let me just go through the program and explain what it does and um, as you probably know the the volume keywords in TradeStation vary depending on context we're going to be using the volume or V keyword which is actually volume traded on upticks um, and this program will not work with multi charts because it's using the collections uh, base classes we're going to be using two classes dictionary and vector let me just go through and we've got one input here which is length so uh, what we do is we're going to be using the time as the key and we're going to convert that to a string let's look at this uh, where I say store volume for each bar we're going to look at this a little bit the wrong way up so if we're saying here if the dictionary which we're calling time dict contains the key then so this part of the program is if it does contain the key and uh, if we go down lower we get to an else statement let's just look at this first if the key is not there in other words the program in going through all the bars on the chart has not um, hit a bar with a time that is already star stored as a key in the dictionary then what we do is we create a new vector and then we add that vector to the dictionary using the, uh, the time as the key. So that's what we do if it's not already stored. If it is already stored, we store the vector stored in the dictionary, which we can do using the syntax dot items. We store that in vol vector, and then we put into the vector the volume, and we do that using pushback. The syntax for that is volvect, that's the name we've given our vector, dot pushback, and push underscore back and then V and then what we say is if the um, because that just keeps on adding things to a vector so we need some way of making sure we only have the the number of items that we need and that is um, the number that uh, equals length in other words so that we can find that average and what we say if we get if the count in the vector gets above length then we erase the first element and then having done that, we go through, we need to calculate the average. So we uh, reset vect sum to zero, and then we just use vect sum to go through each item in the vector to create vect sum. And then we plot the vect sum divided by length, which is the average of the, uh, the volume. And at the same time, we also plot the current volume. Now, what I've done in order to just a simple test of this program is I added this line here. So what I'm saying, if it's 10 o'clock, then print the, uh, the date, the time and the volume. And then another test down here is I've said, if it's 10 o'clock on a specific date, which was yesterday, then we're going to go through all the, uh, the items in the vector and just make sure that those values are the, uh, the same. So if we go to the program and uh, let me look just check that the uh, input is set actually set to 10 so let me change that to 4 to help us to see the information a little more clearly close that then I'm going to view the print log this will work incidentally on TradeStation 10 I just uh, a little bit more used to 9.5 at the moment and I prefer it in terms of the user interface so uh, what we have is you can see here the date the time and then those values and what we need to do is make sure that 
these four values are the values that get stored into our vector. And if you compare those values there with these values here, which are the values that are stored in the vector as of the, uh, the 30th of September, then you'll see that they are actually the same. And then we just calculate the, uh, the average. So uh, I hope you found this useful. If, um, if you are uh, interested in this sort of material, then please be sure to join the Markplex email list and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much.